Yo, what is up guys? Paul here from Paul's Game of the Fish, bringing you a updated build video for the kayak cart that I made a few years ago. A lot of the changes that I made were from user suggestions that you guys left down in the comments below. I made it with taller tires so that way it can handle more aggressive terrain. I made it wider so that way it has additional stability, you could put more weight on it. And I did include a sample of a build video in addition to a minor parts list. So let's get right into it. For a parts list, we have four half inch tees, four half by 13 nuts, four half inch washers, a half inch by 13, that's two feet long threaded rod, some PVC glue, great stuff expanding foam, two tires with a half inch diameter hole, and about four feet of a half inch pipe. I'm using a 600 PSI um, pipe, but if you can find something that's higher, it would be thicker and be better off for you. Right now, the build is currently setting at about $40. If you want to bring this cost of the build down, you would want to change the type of tires that you have because this is the most expensive item in it. Uh, right now, if you ran with a eight inch tire, you could bring the cost of the build down to about $25-ish. For the bases of this build, I'm using my sit on top 13 foot motion kayak. I will not provide the exact dimensions of this just because every kayak is different, but I will show you what you can do for your kayak. The most important measurement that you're going to need is the center spacing between your farthest rear bell port holes. I do not have any of this glued together yet, but the basic premises of it, on the outer edge, we're gonna use two nuts together to lock it in place. So that way we're not putting too much stress on the PVC piping. We have a washer. We have another washer on this side. I used a piece of PVC for spacing. My T-valve, my main space, T-valve, PVC, washer. And then same setup on this side with washer and two nuts to lock it in place. Moving up, we have two more T's with another cross member. This is gonna provide you more support and then I have my main pieces of PVC going up, which these are going to lead in to your bell port holes. Because we are using half inch PVC pipe, my last build had failure in this section, but it's the only size piping that is going to fit my bell port holes. So what we're going to do, we're going to fill this, 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 and this with expanding foam, and it is giving us a lot more rigidness in our build. Once we have everything put together, it's going to sit into the kayak like so. If you notice, the hull is resting on the support beam that we put, put in place. And we have just enough clearance on each side of the tires, so we reduce the height to increase the stability. And we have a little excess length up top to ensure that it's not going to slide out on us. Same thing on this side, just enough space so that way the tires are not touching. Let's get this glued together and let's see what it looks like in action. An extra for the build video is a part that I had left over from my last build. This is inch and a quarter PVC. I'll get a couple of different views from this because this is actually already put together. So I cannot show you a build on this, but the main pipe is an inch and a quarter. We have two T's and on the bottom we have two T's as well. Cause this was originally a cart, but it turned out to be a heck of a lot better as a stand. So with the stand in place, with two points of contact in the front, three points of contact on the rear, your kayak is not sitting on the ground and you don't have to worry about it developing a flat spot. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate the easiest way to put the cart underneath your kayak and I'm gonna demonstrate the kayak in action. So with my final review, the same big old fat cat from four years ago, give me a help, stress testing it, heavy weight load in the back, hit that right fat boy. So my overall review of it, I'm glad that I went with the taller tires. I've tested it over multiple different types of terrain. 
and it goes over a hell of a lot easier than what those smaller seven or eight inch tires that I had with before. And it does increase the height of it, but it makes it a lot easier for you to carry. And also if you have to lift or lower the end of it, it's making the kayak car a lot easier for you. The durability of it with the foam really added a difference to it. It does not feel like it has any flex at all. The only thing that if you want to add, depending on how deep your kayak is, on the additional length that you left on the end, put a hole in each side of it and run a bungee cord through it. This way, if you're going over some really aggressive terrain, your cart will stay in place. All right, guys, thanks for watching. As with every theme in my videos, I want to maintain the same thing, that if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know down in the comments below because this cart is actually inspired by you guys. So you see what your comments are actually doing. Thank you, guys. Have a good day.